Hello guys, and welcome to Inferno Mines. This is a map in the Super Hostile series made by Vetchus. I am Sasori2000, and I will be playing this map. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little different than most people do, from, from what I know. I will be doing what's called, or what I will be calling it, the HCIM, which stands for Hardcore Inferno Mines. Now, that means as soon as I die, that's it. That's the end of the series. I was mostly going to do this for fun, but now... <laughs> it's to prove to one specific person that I have some skill. I might name who that is, I might not, I don't know. But he will be watching this and when I get to the end I'll be right but anyways let's get on with this <clears throat> welcome to super hostile number 12 inferno mines by Vetchus choosing your path uh, guess I gotta take this there's three paths this map features three different starting areas that eventually lead to the same place skylights A, B, and C Oh yeah, I think they scale with difficulty. If your friend or an LPer chooses one, try picking a different one so each of you has a unique experience. Each skylight has a level 1 flame bringer for you to use as a starting weapon, and also a bed. The flame bringer is good for leaving flames behind you as you retreat from your enemies, but you may want to get a sword or bow ASAP. Skylight A leads to a huge stockpile of lumber. Skylight B leads to a mushroom farm and a tiny amount of wood. Skylight C leads to a barracks with many random loot chests. Good luck. Vetix. Vetchis. Vac. Um. Let me look at these. So, we got equipment. Or, I'm sorry. Let me read this in order. Skylight A has wood, B has food, and C has equipment. So, okay, other notes. Standard rules, find a complete the victory monument, use at least easy, never peaceful. Let me make sure. Okay, I'm actually going to go on hard. <laughs> so, we're going to go on hard. We're going to have one life only. Um... And I think I'm going to cho well, let me look at the other notes first. So, yeah, do not leave the map boundaries, find wool in chests, yeah, don't cheat. Survive in any way you can think of, you may craft the resource blocks from the victory monument. Oh yeah, like the iron, gold, and diamond blocks, I believe. So, you may use spider string wool for non-victory monument uses, yeah, yeah. You may not pick up, move, or craft inner chests. I think I knew about the crafting part, but I didn't know about the picking up part. So, that's useful. Um, Alright, so we're getting on with it. Let me look at the other notes. Sequence breaking in a video game is where the player accesses area in an order that is different from what the game designers intended. Inferno Mines has many scenic vistas from which you can see other areas of the map. It's possible to bridge or mine all over the places and access areas without taking the fun path. I thought about making additions to the map such as invisible ladders that when broken teleport the player into lava or other things. Oh, Vex. So evil. Such as infernable ghasts and blaze that swarm the player in an unstoppable... Uh, okay, alright. Instead, I've done none of these, and just decided to just leave it up to the player how they wish to play the map. That's good. So if you really want to break, make bridges all over the place, I'm not going to try to stop you. Well, I can assure you that is something I will definitely avoid. I, 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 don't, I don't like doing that sort of thing. I don't like taking the easy way out. This whole series is about not taking the easy way out, so. Just a heads up, this map pushes Minecraft to its limits, especially a few of the final areas. If you can just barely run vanilla Minecraft, you may have pro- Oh, well, I'm good. I'm good. 
I strongly suggest you comfortably exceed Minecraft, oh, Minecraft's minimum system requirements. If you're doing a Let's Play, you need an even stronger PC depending on how... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Final area stress test, 22 point... Okay. I'm good as far as specs. So. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put these back. Okay, so, now for the three skylights. Hmm. Wood, food, or equipment? Um. I think I'm going to go with skylight B. Yeah, I am. Here we go, guys. Skylight B. Okay, so I have a bed. Um, let me rest here. Well, <laughs> I suppose it doesn't matter, actually, what am I doing? Uh, okay, so I guess let's get started. What does that say? The flame bringer is right there. So, oof. Hip, okay. And we're off. So, I just gotta get up here. Get the flame bringer. Ooh, you're hurting me, Vex. Dang it. It's a flint and steel unbreaking enchantment level. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Cool. And so that's to leave a flame path behind me, I guess. Uh. Alright, so where do we go next? I have no idea. I tried not to watch any Let's Plays, so I could just have a completely blind run going. And there's probably going to be a lot of people yelling at their monitor, Go left! You know, believe me, I, I, I've been there myself. So I'm thinking right there. So, oh man, I probably need to, yep. Yep, I'm going to have to break these one by one. I could go for that. I could totally go for that. And I am. Okay. That was scary. So, we're going. And we're going down this ladder. Oh, God. <clears throat> any mobs? I don't see any. Gonna creep around this corner for creepers. Alright. Well, doing good so far. Um... I don't want to say any of that because I'll just jinx myself. Um, oh, we're getting a little lower on the hunger. Okay, there's a sign. And there's a zombie as well. Get out of here. Oof. I punched him too hard. There you go. Goodbye. OK, 
Okay, so what does this say? Skylight B. Um, a man, a Manita Cavern, a Manita Cavern. I suck at pronouncing things, by the way. So, oh God. Wow. Just wow. This place is pretty crazy. I mean, only what you would expect from a Vex map. So we're running low on hunger, and I, I need to hurry. That's for Skylight B. I guess I'll check this out. I, I mean, I don't... I'll just go this way. There we go. There we go. We got some mushrooms. That's very good. That's a very good thing. I'm going to collect all these. I feel like there's a trap around here. I don't trust this. I'm definitely glad I picked the food path. I was about to not do it because it actually seemed a little easier to me, but I think if I didn't, I wouldn't survive. I don't know. I'm too afraid to take that chance. Alright, so now, oh lordy lord, skeletons, zombies, but there's some stuff over there, and I've got quite a few mushrooms but I need some I need some wood I'm just gonna keep collecting these actually and it begins it begins it's begun oh my gosh oh my gosh we need to kinda run okay so it's already a challenge but there's some sand right there thank you Ooh. Oof, okay, oof, okay, alright, well, I'm already kind of panicking. Okay, I've got reason to panic. Oof, okay, oof, need to get out of here. And that was the episode, thank you guys for watching, that was the whole series right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and probably just... I'll probably do a regular playthrough of this, because this is a pretty cool map. So, I think after this episode, I will start my regular Inferno Mines. I'm just going to... I Yeah, you know what? I think I'll just... I'm not sure. I might start all over. I might continue off. But I'm definitely going to do a Let's Play of this. So, look forward to that. Um, that was the end of this challenge, I guess. Well, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time.